People thought originally that the Sapphire Berg 100 was quite an easy ride because of the fact that it's largely on, on the district road. But the reality is that it has some of the biggest climbs in mountain biking in South Africa. Um, it's unique in that we change direction every year. This year they had it as a downhill. Next year they'll have an 18 kilometer uphill, which is something that is incredibly unique. It's a great feature of the race. And this is a seriously, seriously tough race. And if you finish this race, you've done incredibly well as a mountain biker. Bit of a long way for many of us, but um, yeah, looking forward to a really, really cool ride. Eh? You know, you, you get exposed and you see places that you never get to see, you know, unless you're getting out in a mountain bike. So a lot of guys like to ride with a pre-planned route in mind, but uh, this one definitely doesn't allow you that. So I encourage everybody else that is not here, get out and do some mountain biking and come have a look at what we've got on our doorstep. Our first people come in in three and a half hours and the last guys come in in 10 hours. So we, we get a wide range of, of people throughout the day and um, it's quite a challenge to, to put these things together. But working in an environment like this in the Drakensberg to do this is just awesome. Uh, the terrain is amazing. This year we added in some single track to freshen things up along the way and uh, take the guys off the district road. And uh, it's been incredible. The, the entries that we've had is amazing. We've got incredible weather. Our partners are awesome. And um, this race is just going to grow from strength to strength. My name is Sean, and um, I'm the financial director at Sapphire Insurance Company. I got involved in mountain biking in 2007. It's um, our client base, um, you know, and we can make a positive difference to people's lives through the riders that ride, who are clients, um, the farms we traverse, who are also some of our clients. The riding today was phenomenal. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Good off the start line. It was uh, slightly overcast, and uh, looking around, there was lots of racing snakes off the front. And that tractor, that John Deere tractor they took off, must have been doing about 60 k's an hour, I reckon, because I was maxed, I was, heart rate was over the top, and uh, we couldn't catch the leading group, and we only caught them at 20 k's, and phenomenal, phenomenal riding at the front. Uh, we're from uh, Lions Bush Conservancy, Fort Nottingham and uh, mainly farming community which make up most of our helpers today and uh, had the privilege if you like to, to be able to help with this cycle race and everything seems to be going well perfect conditions uh, no problem so far and uh, everybody seems to be really enjoying themselves It's a fantastic day for mountain biking. Um, we're part of the Noah's Ark um, pre-primary school. We're helping out, running one of the, uh, you know, the watering holes, watering stations, uh, to raise funds for our little school. And uh, Devlin and them have kindly offered us, and it's quite a big. It's it's actually a hell of a nice gesture. They've allowed other people to come on board in the different communities from Nottingham Road and Heimville, Underberg and uh, it's really great to see they've got the buy-in from the whole community and that's what i think it's all about teamwork um, the guys are all having fun the cyclists are really enjoying it and uh, we wish them well thank you very much for the opportunity It's uh, actually a very nice day today out there. Um, started off a little bit fresh, a little bit misty and very, very windy. 
first 40 odd k's had a nice big bunch together so it was nice to be able to sit in the bunch and take it a little bit easier because I knew it was to come. One of the steeper tar road sections uh, myself and Tyron White got away um, yeah and then from there we just rode together um, pacing each other nicely kept a consistent steady pace up the last climb Ty White unfortunately got a little bit cramped so yeah, I managed to take the win overall, so I'm very stoked. Eh? It's a really, really beautiful area. I'm actually from, from Kokstad, so I'm quite familiar with this area. I do, do spend a bit of time out here training. And yeah, it's stunning. I mean, this route is absolutely fantastic. The views today from the top of those climbs are absolutely breathtaking. You can see the Drakensberg the entire time. And obviously being such a beautiful day, it was, yeah, it was, it was magnificent. Eh? We had a really good time out there. Yeah, it was a good day today at the Sapphire Berg 100. Um, I've never done the race, so it was my first time out here. Decided to come give it a go. Uh, Tyron convinced me because uh, we got Joe Big to see coming up. We're racing together. So it was a good chance to get a good 100k uh, race in with a lot of climbing. Didn't really know what to expect, and uh, Tyron and I went in the first long tar road climb. And yeah, we rode together. We had such an awesome day out there. The views were spectacular. Some really long, epic climbs. Um, so yeah, I had a great day. Unfortunately, I cramped towards the end, which uh, cost us crossing the line together. But it was really great and good fun riding with Tyron. And uh, yeah, an awesome day. Perfect weather, so couldn't ask for more. The Sapphire Berg 100 2014. Bit off more than I could chew. <laughs> Definitely. But, uh, but as truly, we're really stoked to be here. Thanks to, uh, to Devlin and, and, and Katie Fogg. What an unbelievable event. I can only see this race going from strength to strength. You know, in fact, I, I've got to be honest, the only thing that, that, that I wasn't wild about was the five kilometers of single track because the whole, the whole idea behind this race is what struck me as being unique. You know, everybody's trying to have these long single track races. It was so lacquer just to ride hard. There were some unbelievably tough hills, incredible scenery, and uh, obviously fantastic organization. Uh, Tully's vibe is to, uh, is to take you and the things you care about with you simply, safely, and, uh, and stylishly. And, um, and obviously with, uh, with bicycle racks being a big part of our business, it makes perfect sense to be here. But, but more than anything, we're excited to be involved with, uh, with Katie and Devlin uh, in the Sapphire Berg 100 because their, their whole outlook on life and, and how they position this race is exactly, uh, you know, fits and meets Tuli's outlook as well. Okay, obviously this is the third year of the race. Sapphire is thankfully involved. It's great to have them on board with us again. They are our title sponsor. We've now got Bike Life Finance as well, which is really, really awesome. But I think another great thing about this race is that we try and support a lot of the local communities, a lot of the local schools. So the Nottingham Road Pre-Primary School benefited hugely from us. They helped with registration. We used their venue as the starting point. We have Nature Zone here, which is also great, bringing their product. We really try and give a lot of a spread of spread of the wealth for want of a better word to a lot of the local communities in the area um, and I think yeah people appreciate that I think it's great for them to see that there are a lot of communities involved in this in this race. Kenmo Lake is a great venue as you can see behind me awesome lake where the guys are having a nice dip in the water and it's just a great vibe and atmosphere here with food and market and shade and beautiful sun too so it's a great great venue for the finish. One of the cool new features of the race this year was we had Mascor, who is John Deere, come on board as a sponsor and we had a neutral zone where we had all 400 riders leaving town behind a John Deere tractor, which was quite a cool feature. You know, Nottingham Road and Hanville are, are staunch farming communities and it was really great to have them on board and make it a real feature of the race. Had a really good day and I'm proud to be a part of it and I'm proud that uh, Sapphire's a part of it. So an absolutely fantastic day, thoroughly enjoyed it.